Hello, I'm Alex from Bareface, and I am going to talk to you about why Rob Chapman thinks our Bareface guitar cabs are the best cabs in the world. <laughs> Greetings Internet, I am Alex from Bareface, and that was Rob Chapman and me being amazed at the difference in sound between a conventional closeback 212 and a bareface diffractor 112 with an AVD device in the back. This is why there's a difference. I plugged in to the small cabinet on the floor and it was the best cab I've ever heard in my life. Oh! Ah! <laughs> and I've heard a lot of cabs. Right. And I'm not interested in cabs. I find them irritating, I find them annoying, they are almost um, a necessary evil of the guitarist. I have played very expensive cabinets, I have played very affordable cabinets, and these are the best sounding cabinets oh. I've ever played. And you know what the first thing was I noticed? What? It was <laughs> loud. Yes. And I was sat here, and the cab is down there as you can see, and it's tiny. But you can swear in this video, by the way, it's fine. I just okay. I'll make an amusing noise. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, it's really loud and really bright. And then I walked over to turn the volume down and the sound didn't change as I walked around it. That's what it's about. Why? Right, as Arthur C. Clarke said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. But I am going to do a pen and teller or a Darren Brown on you and reveal the magic in here. You've probably never seen a guitar cab with this sort of strange thing at the back. This is our augmented vent diffractor. And what's clever about this is it isn't just an open back like a normal open back guitar cap, because the problem with an open back guitar cap is that when the speaker is moving forwards, that means the back of the cone is moving in reverse relative to the air pressure in the room. So when the front pushes to pressurize the room, the back pulls and that depressurizes the room and that means that the low frequencies cancel out in any open baffle speaker, in other words, an open back guitar cab. And that is why open back guitar cabs sound thinner, less chunky. That's why they're not so popular for rock when you want to chug away, you know, when you want a bigger sound. This has actually more bottom end, more fatness, more power handling uh, without distorting than a closed back guitar cab because this thing here, this slot, and this horn act as a reflex port or vent or Helmholtz resonator. So that means that this 112 has similar fatness and efficiency in the lower register. And I'm not talking about bass guitar lower register, I'm talking about the lower frequencies that a guitar puts out. So that's the lows right up into the low mid range. It's, it's valuable sound for a guitar. But this also, unlike a speaker port, unlike a reflex port, a vent, a resonator, this actually lets the mid and high frequencies come through. That is all sort of at odds with horn theory. So this may look like a horn to you, but it isn't a horn. It doesn't sound like a horn. It doesn't have any horny honkiness going on. It acts as a diffractor, which lets these mid and high frequencies through. This then acts as a waveguide to help them spread out around the room sideways. And once they've spread out, they inevitably meet some sort of boundary, be that the floor, be that other equipment if you're outdoors, or be the rear wall or the side walls. Right, it's the moment you have all been waiting for. This is Rob Chapman playing through a victory head into a bareface Reformer 112. The important things to note are that the cab being used is the one underneath the amp, not the tiny little one sitting on the sofa. The cab is a 112 with a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker in. The microphone in front of the cap is not the microphone being used. The microphone that you are hearing is at the end of a boom. I am holding the boom and I'm moving that around the room so you can hear how the sound changes as the listening position moves around the room from on axis to way off axis. The AVD device in the back of the cabinet is massively improving the sound off axis. When you're at a gig, how often are you in the line of fire? How often are your bandmates in the line of fire? And how often are the audience in the line of fire? 
let's think about what everyone hears. So, check this out, see what you think, see what you hear. Now let's do the same thing with a 212 cab, but this time it's a conventional cab. So it's a closed back cab. It's got the same speakers, Celestium Vintage 30s. We've switched the output tap to compensate for the impedance. So the cab is receiving the same power as the previous cab was. I'm moving the mic around the room in just the same way. Listen to how things change. <laughs> It's unbelievably quieter. <laughs> I, I literally, I can't believe how much quieter it is. It's me again, via the power of editing. So this is a quick flip-flop between the Bareface 112 and the 212 that has the same Celestium Vintage 30s, but in a closed back conventional cab. Remember, the Bareface cab has an augmented vent diffractor at the back, which allows you to use the rearward output from the cone, so that joins the output from the front of the cone in the room and reaches your ears by the magic of acoustics. There is this thing called precedence effect, which means that if you hear two identical sounds and they are less than 50 milliseconds apart, it can even be less uh, as much as 100 milliseconds apart, but certainly less than 50 milliseconds apart. We hear the first sound and the second sound just adds to the size of the first sound. And this is rather convenient because 50 milliseconds is like if we had a rear wall behind this cab providing the only reflection of this rearward sound coming from the AVD and it's like that rear wall being up to 30 feet away. So I'm not talking 15 foot there and 15 foot back, I'm talking 30 foot there, 30 foot back. So 60 feet of sound travel and our brain will still hear the sound as being the sound from the front of the cab and it will add this other sound to it and make it sound bigger and because that sound due to the AVD will have spread and hit the walls and come round to us, we will hear the sound with the clarity that is often missing when we're not in the line of fire of a speaker cab. Because a guitar speaker, especially a bigger guitar cab like a 412, but certainly a 112, it's a big speaker. If you want frequencies to disperse, you want smaller speakers as you go up in frequency. But if you play guitar through a tiny speaker or through a little dome tweeter, it will sound tinny, it will sound thin, it will sound horrible. So we can't just add a tweeter to help dispersion at high frequencies because it messes with the sound. But then we are stuck with this inherent beaming nature of a large guitar speaker like this one here. This is a Vintage 30 made by Celestian. It is one of the most iconic guitar speakers in history. And like all speakers, it has a front and it has a back. 
and you can see the cone from the back or the front. This bit moves the cone, this is what makes sound. If this is moving, sound comes out the front, but if this is moving, sound comes out of the back too. That is very useful. We are going to do something good with that. That's the thing, we've got this beaming sound out the front, but if we take the sound from the back and it comes round to us, we hear it so much better. And that is exactly what Rob and I have been hearing in these clips and what you have been hearing when we've moved the mic from on axis to off axis with the AVD cab versus the normal closed back cab. And here it is, the Bareface Reformer 112, which is also this light. So it's not just that it's brilliant sonically, that you can hear it so much better once it maintains that fantastic Celestian tone of this Vintage 30. And if you don't like Vintage 30s, we offer every single Celestian guitar driver as an option. So there is a lot of tonal choice there. Whatever you like, you can get it in a barefaced AVD cab so it fills the room better with sound. As well as this 112, which as you can see, it's pretty small, but you might want something smaller, we have a 110. And if you need something louder, we have a 212, and that 212 is wide, so you can put your big Marshall head on it or any other full-size head, so it looks cool, because, you know, this is rock and roll. We sell these cabs everywhere. We ship them all over the world. So go to barefacedaudio.com and check out the prices, check out the specs, check out more details. You may be shocked to find out that that Reformer 112 weighs only 10 kilos. That's 22 pounds. That's really light, especially for a cab that has a seriously heavyweight speaker in there. That is not a Neo speaker. That is not some tiny magnet speaker. That is a Celestian Vintage 30. It's a heavyweight, powerful guitar speaker. Comment below and tell me what you honestly thought. Were you not astounded by how much clearer the Bareface Reformer 112 was in the room? How the sound spread all around so that wherever the microphone was, you could hear it properly. It was the real tone of the guitar, the amp, and the speaker working in harmony putting sound out through the cabinet using the augmented vent diffractor in the back to spread that sound so you could actually hear it without needing to be right in the line of fire. Thanks for watching. If you want us to make more videos, then comment below, like this video so that we know you like it and so that other people find it because I think that's how the algorithms work. Subscribe to us because there will be more content like this. Tell us what you want us to demo, what you want us to talk about. We have lots to talk about. I could go on all night and I might if no one comes in to stop me. So thank you. I've been Alex from Bareface. This has been fun. There will be more.